coordinate system. Let's spend a few moments understanding the system that's used for the coordinates in AutoCAD. AutoCAD uses a Cartesian coordinate system based on X, Y, and Z. The coordinates can be found here on the bottom left corner, X, Y, and Z for the cursor. I'll go ahead and pan around a bit. As you can see, here's the origin where 0, 0 lies. This red line here indicates the positive direction of the x-axis. This green line here indicates the positive direction of the y-axis. There's also a z-axis that's coming straight out at us, but we can't see that just yet. I'll go ahead and pan just a little bit. I'll make sure dynamic input is turned on down here in my drawing aids. I'll activate the line command just so I can get this tooltip. And now AutoCAD is asking me to specify the first point. And currently it's giving me the location of my points. And as I move it around, you see my coordinates are constantly being updated here within the screen and the bottom right corner. Pan a little bit to the side. In this quadrant here, the X and the Y values are both positive. As I move over to this left side, I have a negative value for X and a positive value for Y. So as you can see, this is a typical coordinate system that you may have seen in elementary or another math class. The bottom left corner has a negative x and y. On this side, I have a positive x and a negative y. It's important to understand that you're using a Cartesian coordinate system in creating your geometry. That way you know you're creating your geometry with an x, a y, and a z, and you can accurately specify the points that you need. It's also useful to know that this coordinate system expands to as far as you need it to go. I'll go ahead and scroll the mouse out a bit, move my mouse over to here, move my mouse over to here. And as you can see, if I keep scrolling my mouse, it doesn't exactly let me pan out any further. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape command. That way I exit out the line tool. I'll go ahead and type regen and press enter. And then I can continue to scroll out even more. I'll go ahead and type regen one more time, press enter, and scroll out even more. This just allows AutoCAD to continue creating the geometry for the grid for you. As you can see, now I'm at a very far, far coordinate away from the origin. A negative 1818 for my x value, as you can see down here in the coordinate system. You can use the regen command to expand the grid which you draw your geometry on. Even though it doesn't look very large, I'm very far away from my origin.